everyone, I'm Ron. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So on um, today's video, we're going to try to paint myself up like Miss Argentina from Beetlejuice. And she's green. So we're gonna do green cream paint. Because the idea is to spread it out like um, foundation. And I'm going to apply this lighter green too. So I'm going to blend it all kind of together. Every kind of green paint I've ever used water activated, alcohol activated, um, cream, oil based, always stains. So. About 11, 12 years old, we had just gotten cable. That's the tone I'm looking for right there. But we had just gotten cable and every morning while we were, you know, getting ready for school and everything, we would watch Bozo the Clown on WGN. And I don't know if y'all remember that, but he had, you know, Bozo the Clown's grand prize game. And he had killer prizes. And it was like, I think it was five pails. I've told this story on this channel before. And someone commented, now, she's grown now and she might see this video and feel really bad. And I'm like, she should feel bad. You'll know what I'm talking about in a few minutes when I get to that point of the story. Um, so what they do is they, kids who watch the show can send in a postcard with their name and, you know, information on it. And they pick a boy and girl in the audience to come up and, um, And they each pick a postcard. The boy picks a boy, the girl picks a girl. And so these two kids get picked up and I, I remember what that girl was wearing too. I remember her very well. And she drew my card. They said my name. I was like, whoa, whoa. Right? I was like so excited. And um, so they go up and the boy, uh, no, the girl was first. And <laughs> oh. well, the girl was first, and she was about my age, you know. And she gets a ball, and the host tells her, okay, just drop this in the first bucket. The first bucket, which is right down there. No one misses that. She missed it. She missed it. I didn't even get the, the, the shitty first prize that comes <laughs> with the first bucket because she missed it. Oh, I'm being so ungrateful. I wish my name was called. But yeah, she missed it. <laughs> and um, I was like, you little bitch. I wanted to beat her ass. <laughs> I really did and I was so mad and I don't know she got some kind of parting gift or something I got a, a autographed picture of Bozo in the mail but I remember her I think now I'm starting it's starting to fade now but if you go back and look at my older videos I do describe what she was wearing but I think it was pink shorts and like a polo shirt and she had the collar up and she had glasses and she had red curly hair and she didn't even make the first bucket. She didn't even get the first bucket. I mean, the bucket, literally everybody <laughs> made that first bucket. No, not the girl that draws my name. She can't get it. So I was mad. And what made me even more mad is that kids in my class saw that too. They saw my name get pulled. <laughs> and they saw this girl not even make... The first basket, not all of them, but enough of them to make it absolutely humiliating. Yeah. Um, 
All right, so we're gonna let this set for a few minutes and um, I'm just trying to even it out a little bit. So we're going to let this set and then we will continue on. Okay, so this is just setting powder and it's not going to turn it white. It's going to kind of even the tone a little bit and take down that shine. <laughs> if you make a mess with this. And there is obviously a wig included with this look. I'm going to actually take my little Beetlejuice palette um, and get the purple. That's really all she has is purple around the eyes and then black eyeliner. But I wonder why she's green because typically you don't turn that color. So I was thinking of doing a geisha look. But I didn't want people coming on and accusing me of cultural appropriation. And it isn't because, for one thing, I'm Japanese. Another thing, it was something we talked about in my family. And a third thing was you don't have to be Japanese to be a geisha. You can go there um, and go through their training and everything. You know, even the, you know, there's training that you do before you do official geisha training. And you can actually do that to get a taste for what it's like and see if you actually want to do it, you know? And you don't have to be Japanese to do it. I mean, just primarily women who do it are Japanese but you don't have to be there's no rule that says you have to be Japanese to be a geisha so anyway I was thinking of doing a geisha look but I don't want people coming at me but at the same time um, it's part of my culture why, why should I be afraid to do something that's part of my culture you know, people see me and think, oh, white girl. And they don't consider for a second, well, I mean, sure, whatever. So I had a decapitated head, it uh, was um, Ariel. And I decapitated her like just one of my styrofoam heads and painted her and made her look like Ariel and I pinned my red wig on her so and she was part of this character I was I was creating for um e. she was part of this character Jessica I was creating for a contest I was going to be in and because of the big C, the, um, the thing was canceled. And so I had this great decapitated head that I was going to use. So the story was Jessica, my character I was creating, the character I was creating was the love child of the creature from the Black Lagoon and a CG mermaid. <laughs> And, you know, I had her whole story developed and everything. I was going for it. And then they canceled the contest. They said it was going to be rescheduled, but that was years ago. <laughs> they said that and nothing has happened. Nothing's been rescheduled. So. This is supposed to be my sash. Miss Argentina sash. But I don't know that I'm going to be able to brighten it. Well, you're not going to be able to see it anyway. So. I think I will. Okay, so you hit that. 
alone for a minute and let that dry. And uh, we'll work on the lips. What was I talking about? So yeah, so I had this decapitated head with my red wig on it. And so last night I was like, I really want to do a Miss Argentina look, but I need to get a red wig. And then I was thinking I need to get a sash. But then I was like, no, I could paint a sash on. But what can I do for the red wig? And I was like, oh, my Ariel decapitated head. Because the story with Jessica was she had these messed up teeth in her head. And her story was, this is uh, Ariel. Because she has a southern accent because uh, she was found in the uh, um, Everglades by uh, this guy named Bubba Ray Johnson. And he, he raised her and brought her up, so she just developed his accent. So anyway, she was like, and he was a great dad for her, but you know, it was, she always felt like something was missing from her life. But anyway, he was the name that, he was the one that named her Jessica. But anyway, she had gone for a swim when Bubba Ray went on a deep sea fishing trip and she found uh, Ariel and uh, decapitated her and was keeping her head because she was going to eventually scalp the head and make the, it was a horror costume contest where the costume had to be an original type of look, but that's not what I wanted. But anyway, it never happened. So I took the wig off of the decapitated head last night and started brushing it out. And so this could be my Miss Argentina wig. I think I'm even going to paint the dress on because you're not going to be able to see any of it. Okay, let's get some lashes on. I'm finally starting to do okay with these magnetic lashes to the point to where maybe one day I'll be comfortable wearing them out of the house. But yeah, that stupid kid could not... It couldn't even get one bucket. Not one bucket. I mean, really, child? Really, my child? You could not get one, one bucket. Not one bucket. I'm gonna do a little black eyeshadow. Oh, there we go. Just like that. what happens when I die. That is what happens when they die. And this is what happens when you die. It's all very personal. I don't remember it perfectly, but it was something like that. I wanted to add a little more purple under the eye. But anyway, I think it's cute. Um, I had to cut the bangs and I didn't really do a very even job, but um, I put lashes on, so there's lots of strays of hair. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my stories. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to everyone later. Stay tuned for the photos.